first time today we find ourselves in someone's back garden um, or front garden I'm not quite sure which front garden or back garden um, I'm I'll going front because it's front, front garden um, again not without permission so um, we were told to knock on this house's door get permission to just go down to the track bed and the falls and the tunnel etc um, but they're not in two cars in we told we we're told to check up by the barns we've checked up by the barns um, but again no one there, so we're going to leave a note for them to say we're here because Andrew has already um, sought permission via our email. But we just want to let them know we're here, so we leave a note and then we're going to head down. Okay, dead end and mill. So we're going to try going back up the house, back across, basically to get down there. Right, we think we found a way down. Um, got the river running right down the middle here but we're not a hundred percent sure we're in the right place um, there's nothing here that looks like any kind of track bed is there <laughs> okay so we were in the complete wrong direction it was actually almost at a uh, house level okay so we just want to stop the video just here um, because as we were approaching this tunnel we're just kind of hidden behind the area you see at the end of this garden we had no idea we were looking at the tunnel the guy um, who owns the house who was walking us towards the tunnel as you see probably on the left of the picture um, he was bombing it along here and we were, we were following him and only <clears throat> when we were sort of five yards away from it did we did we really actually appreciate that there was a tunnel there the bench that you see in the in the middle of the picture um, he describes as their position where they sit when they want air conditioning uh, in the summer so you sat there in the summer heat the, the, the cool breeze comes through the tunnel but we were so excited when we saw this at how amazing it looked um, and we didn't really have time to appreciate that view um, of the tunnel it just suddenly appeared didn't it yeah walking along and all of a sudden it's like whoa it's there yeah. and you can see that you can see the sort of the, the outline of it through the hedges especially this time of year because it's obviously quite overgrown so we really wanted to just sort of pause the video there show you that image um, We'd have never found this in a million years on our own, would we, without his help? Obviously, it's his back garden. Um, but yeah, so anyway, hopefully we can bring you a few clips of us um, looking at the outside of the tunnels and going through the tunnel itself. Um, there's a million questions we've got about the actual tunnel, the inside of it, how it was built. We don't know a lot of that, do we? Um, so yeah, so hopefully um, we'll roll the clips now and you'll enjoy some more of the video. Um, <clears throat> we found the guy that obviously has a house and he's pointed us in the right direction. Extremely well camouflaged this time of year certainly in the coming months um, so we're just heading to a gateway and you'll see just down there is the tunnel And I 
wonder if that's a, like original score markings along it. Do you see what I mean? Like that line. Yeah. I, don't, I wonder if that's like where they originally drilled away at it perhaps or... Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we made it through the tunnel. Um, obviously we made it, it was a bit damp underfoot, nothing too serious. Um, really lovely architecture inside. Both ends have either been reinforced more recently, perhaps in BR days, or maybe it was like that from the start, we don't know, because we're not uber historians. Um, but in the middle, it's sheer rock face for probably half of it in the middle, and it's like a cave, it's fantastic. Um, thanks to Andrea. Um, for getting us here with permission. So we do have permission to be here. Um, yeah, so crack on to the next tunnels, which are? Pancada, Brintavi and Altacavo. Right, so we've travelled uh, south now, south of the Tina Greg, Tina Greg tunnel, which is the one we just were at Caradag uh, Falls Holt. So we're now approaching from the south side, we're approaching... Oh, Brintavy. Brintavy, I can do that. Brintavy. Brintavy. Brintavy tunnel. Um, so this went underneath the village of... Clang the Angular R. I'm not going to pronounce that. Um, Right, do we know much about this tunnel in terms of lengths or anything like that? Yeah, 101 yards this one is. 101, so not long at all. I thought it was longer. No, I thought, um, I thought it was actually shorter and I thought it was 88 yards, but it's not, it's 101. Uh, okay. Okay, so made it to um, the north end. You, interesting, you can't get out this side, because um, by Rebecca, there is a significant bolt and lock. Um, interestingly, no um, recesses whatsoever. I guess it's short enough not to have a recess of any kind. Um, pretty much all masonry line throughout, brick at the top. Um, and yeah, no um, bare rock that we can see. So yeah, can't get out of that end. We're gonna head back um, that end and go and find tunnel number three, which is... Pencada. Pencada. day for us uh, a little bit further south uh, is Pencada Tunnel. Um, we'd uh, spoken to Andrea for quite a while and we've been talking about getting permission to get in this tunnel. It's locked at both ends uh, however there is a local monastery yes I believe so. Um, with monks in I guess that's a thing. <laughs> uh, the head monk. The head monk. Has um, the key. Yeah he has the key. He'd given us permission and we'd given Andrea yeah. permission to get the key but for a few weeks now we haven't been able to get hold of him, Andrew hasn't been able to get hold of him um, and so we couldn't get the key. But we might be able to go back. Yeah, but we can't, well, yeah, exactly, we'll go back when Andrew can, can perhaps get the key, we will go back. Um, but the monk did not want to be contacted. Anyway, so <laughs> the land itself I believe is um, forestry owned and again we had permission to be on there. So we headed down the large hill. Um, right down to the bottom, the track bed level, and we headed up towards Pencada from the south. Um, I believe a lot of the northern portal is on private land, so the south side was best. And I think it's the most um, picturesque. Okay, don't know if you can hear us, obviously because of the um, water aqueduct up there, which we've seen a couple of times before. We saw that in Dartmoor, didn't we? Or Dartmouth, Towns or Plymouth. Um, wow, look at that. So, uh, Pencada Tunnel, southern portal, or southern-ish portal, 
Um, thousand yards? 988. 988 yards long. Um, did it curve at the other end? It, it curved somewhere in the middle. Right. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, of course, two shots. Fantastic. Love this. We're unlikely going to get in, as we said, because we haven't got the key. Um, maybe we'll come back another time when we do hear from the monk. Um, but this is just beautiful, this whole area. This is just absolutely lovely. It does look like something out of Jurassic Park. Yeah, Jurassic Park. Oh, well, look at it, the way yeah. it just looks yeah. all the it does, yeah. It's amazing. Right, we're going to take some shots and see what we can see through the gaps. Tunnel number four, which is Alta Kevin Tunnel. Alta Kevin. I can do that. Huh? I can do that. Alta Kevin. Alta oh. Kevin. Alta it Kevin. Like Kevin. It sounds like Kevin. And uh, Kevin in Welsh means back. Okay. And the town where we're just in? Pudgecourt. Okay. And the river? TV. Brilliant. And so we're walking alongside that from the bridge that was built in 1840 ish. And now we're heading towards Newcastle. Emlyn. Newcastle Emlyn. Emlyn. Newcastle Emlyn. Is it bad if you don't add the Emlyn? Really? Yeah, it's not really? Newcastle. I, thought, I assumed that people would just say, oh, Newcastle. No, they, call it Emlyn. they call it Emlyn. They call it Emlyn? Yeah. Uh, which is obviously a lot more Welsh, clearly. Right. Crikey. I've been saying Newcastle all day long. <laughs> Apologies. This is the western end of Ali, Ali Kef, Kevin? Alta Kevin. Alta Kevin. Alta Kevin. <laughs> um, tunnel. Fantastic. 167 yards long. You can't see end to end. It's that much of a tight radius. Um, we, this is obviously on the Newcastle Emlyn branch line. We're not doing that today because we're short on time. But we'll come back and do that and maybe come here again because it's not far from the road, is it? Mm. So we should do that in the future. Yeah. Um, that's the end of tunnel video. Because mm. this is the tunnel. fourth tunnel of the day. It is. So um, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Big thank you to Andrea for her assistance in pronunciations, <laughs> locations, and everything <laughs> Welsh yep. that we're not very good at. Yeah. Um, as always, notification bell. That's the main thing, right? And yes. if you've just found this video randomly, click subscribe as well. Um, thanks for watching, we'll see you soon. Right, scrub that, not quite the end. Andrew remembered that there was a pretty cool little culvert, um, probably 100, 150 yards away from the tunnel. Um, there's drainage both sides of the track bed, um, just up there on this east side of the tunnel. So we're just gonna try and find that culvert right now. Um, track bed up there, west, east, and we're pretty close to it, we think. How did you find this? Mm -hmm. How did you find this? Well, I went through the tunnel and um, I tagged Dan in it and one of his friends said, you didn't find that then? Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I came back down and found it. But since then I found about 10 along here. Oh, okay. This is, um, we found the other end and there's a, uh, it looks like it's gone, it's filled in a bit more now. Yeah, oh, but, um, really? It was that, about that much gap, but I wouldn't go in it because look, it's bowing yeah. out. Wow. But the, the, yeah, the architecture. Oh, it's filled in, isn't amazing. it? Amazing. It's not, um, well, it's not just... not filled in, but yeah, sorry, I mean... 
It's just uh, leaf mold and all yeah. that sort of thing. 